Men may not be as fertile as they think they are. June is Men's Health Month, and today we're looking at the impact of declining sperm health. KXAN's Tom Miller talked with Austin fertility doctor David Prokey about what's causing this and what you can do about it. When people are trying to have a baby without success, what are some of the things that you're looking for in men and what are some of the challenges that they're up against? For many couples, one of the main aspects of the evaluation is a semen analysis. So putting it very plainly, a semen analysis is an examination of one sample of a man's ejaculate, looking at the volume of the sperm, how much sperm there is in it, how much sperm is moving around and how healthy that, that sperm looks. And that's kind of, in some ways, a great snapshot at the overall picture of a, man, a male's fertile health. Studies have found this declining sperm count in men all over the world. Why is that happening and how far is that dropping? Certainly in many Western countries, there has been a pretty large decline from some of the studies looking to the 1970s to now of the male sperm counts. And some of those numbers are, you know, almost in half, you know, roughly from 100 million sperm, which is quite a good number, to around 40 to 50 million, which is, you know, pretty drastic decrease. You know, a man's sperm count can be, or lower sperm counts can be a result of things related to hormones and anatomy and genetic causes and even, um, you know, things related to environmental exposures. And I think that's where a lot of the focus and maybe the suspicion has gone, that is there some global environmental exposure that is causing these lower counts. And I think that's where a lot of the research is focusing on. And I know the, the diagnosis is called male factor infertility. I imagine it's very difficult when you learn that, that you have this. How do you go about treating that and helping these patients? It's always really important for any person who we identify as having a lower sperm count to look at their lifestyle because we do know things like excess alcohol intake, obesity, high uh, diet and processed foods can lower sperm counts. Importantly, testosterone use. The other thing that we see often is marijuana use. There's um, a good link between increasing marijuana use, lower testosterone levels, and lower sperm counts. Dr. David Prokai talking male fertility with us. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it, thank you.